In this video, I will show you how to uh, print something in WPF or uh, UWP. Um, in so when you have an ap application in Windows, Windows 10, um, then you always uh, go to a preview page. And inside this case, it's uh, that's a ex simple example how to print something. So I have here a print preview uh, window, and that's not so easy in uh, as I s supposed. So what we we'll ha have to do in there is so the easiest way uh, is first my application. In my application, I would say something like there. I would say I would like to say print something with a preview, uh, and what I have there is. Uh, page <coughs> uh, I want to show simply a grid which is in there so normally we normally we see there the entire page I called it the page that's a the page what we see on the right side and I only want to print this big block on this uh, on this area so this is a, a SAML uh, element a WPF element and I said okay uh, give me this uh, element which is called in my case a, a grid it's a grid element and I said okay uh, when I want to print this one I wrote a small method which says okay print something and inside there there's a WPF element that's what we see there and if, if I want to print the entire page then I would say simply this and then I go to my to this method and I would say okay this is what I've written by myself I say okay uh, create me a new document and if the doc document exists uh, then um, then delete this uh, file I would say okay we we, need, we use the XPS document that's something like uh, it's a, a pixel writer um, and like Adobe or something like this, uh, it writes a pixel uh, pixel print. Um, and I say, okay, create a new XPS document is a new document with this file name and with read write um, um, access. And I would say, okay, give me a new writer. That's the instance which is simply writing all that stuff. That's the document. That's the writer. Then I would say, give me a serializer. Uh, the output and the writer should write now into this uh, document so uh, begin a batch write write something write the element which is coming in there and then uh, print it into this document and then I need the document itself so this is the document get fixed document sequence and this with this trick I will be able to say um, create a new window which has this document this uh, which is the, the pixel itself pixelized um, one page document print it into a give it into a new window and then show the window so now we open that window this is a when we when you write a no uh, your own application you have to write a new document or a new window so this is a window i created a new window and said okay window uh, and i have inside there a grid and there's a document view that's the rectangle there and the print button and inside the print button uh, inside the document that's the, the default stuff is this one you have that's the print um, uh, document viewer and you have a toolbar there and a search box and to uh, to uh, if you don't need that stuff that's what's normal <laughs> then you say here with a style a style block style setter visibility to collapsed okay now we go to the uh, to the background when this document opens that's it uh, C sharp code beh behind code so we first have the initialization so we'll simply take this code and say okay the document print uh, document is called print window and the print window 
window will be opened or called by this print window with inside an argument fixed document sequence document so this argument comes in and I will say okay this is my local variable document initialized the window so make it visible and then before it shows uh, I will say the document my inside document which comes as a parameter goes into my um, my document and let's say here that's my that's my document viewer and its name is preview document it should be a document uh, and I've said okay preview document the document viewer uh, stream everything inside there and I w would say if somebody wants to print that stuff so when somebody pushes that button print then do the following create a new print dialog and the print dialog is a new print dialog print the queue so this is a lo local give me the local printers which I have and then it would say okay the ticket which goes to your site has a page orientation which has the page orientation landscape in my case and I'm uh, and I would set the border in there as a DNA, DNA 4 in German size and we have the uh, it should take the border it's not borderless so it's borderless none so it accepts a border around there and if somebody puts that button then the stuff should print all that stuff out so why I'm showing you this one when I go into my application and if I start to print now when I print something then you will see the print dialog and now this is my default printer and now I may, to pr may print my stuff and the arguments which go into my application are here set by print dialog print ticket that's where I may set up all uh, how the document it is uh, um, streamed so and you will find the code on my website so it's a German website and the link will be, will be below the video you see all that stuff how to print and that's the document code for the SAML site for the window which you need preview with the preview and that's the code how you may uh, set up your printing.